How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, it's going good. You want to give me a call? What's up? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to run this uh this video idea I had by you, Jake Paul. I gotta talk. I have to talk about him again. Oh my god, Eddie, why? This is like the third time in a month. What the hell are you doing, dude? It's there is, hey, Eddie, Eddie, there's no buts. Okay, listen, do you want to be milking the teeth of Jake Paul all your life, or do you want to make your own goddamn content? No, You're I, just getting pretty pathetic at this point. It's pathetic, Eddie. I don't I don't want to be milking any teeth, Gus. It's just, it's, I feel like it's kind of important. I mean, just like he made this diss track, and it was just, I feel like I have to talk about it a little bit. Oh, yeah, the diss track. Oh, yeah, you're going to be first on the bandwagon. You know that the diss track came out days ago, right? You think you're really going to be on the fucking ground floor of I, Jake Paul roast? I had work, Gus. I can't jump on these things as oh, fast. Oh, yeah, I had work. Yeah, well, you know what? Other people work every day, bro. Okay, even Jake's a piece of shit. He pushes stuff uh, out every day. Gus, you just said an everyday bro joke. I mean, I, you think I wouldn't catch that? You're in the middle of scolding me about it, and you just slipped in an everyday... I'm sorry, what? I don't under... what do you mean you I don't, don't understand? What, is, what do you mean everyday, bro? I just, it's a phrase I use. It's a phrase you use? Do not call me again. Blocked. Unfollowed. I'm going to unretweet all the retweets that I tweeted with your retweets. You got it? We're fucking done. You know what? Blocked. You know what? Fuck you. Jake Pollers for life. He hung up on me. He hung up on me in the middle when I was saying my Jake Pollers line. Okay. I wasn't going to start with Jake Paul, but uh, let, let's do that. If you guys haven't been following along, a couple of days ago, Jake Paul uploaded a video called YouTube Diss Track. Where in the thumbnail, he had uh, YouTubers like H3H3, Liza Koshi, PewDiePie, Keemstar, Ricegum. And when you start the video, he plays this. Okay, so already clickbaited. Fuck. Every news publication trying to take me down, I'm human too. They want me to lose, want me in the news, but they ain't tell the truth. So here you have uh, Jake pretending like the news wants him to kill himself, which really creates an us first them mentality with his fans and everyone who judges Jake, you know, kind of like a dictator or a cult leader would do to really get them on his side, similar to when he said his neighbors were trying to kill him. So uh, Jake might be smarter than we thought because he really seems like he's manipulating kids to really be on his side. Man, where was your land when I was on the email trying to stop the press fans from killing themselves? Man, where was your land when I was in the kitchen whipping our meals for kids on Thanksgiving? <laughs> really quick, uh, the reason I'm making this video today is because I'm seeing a trend of old Vine stars manipulating kids for money on the internet. And you're seeing it happen right before your very eyes. And Jake does this, honestly, in a pretty impressive way. I still think he's a fucking idiot. He's my age. I think he's dumb as shit. But I think he has no morals. And I think he is willing to do what he has to to make money. And if you have no morals, this is a great way to make money. Where was your land when I was with the teacher? change me. So my message to Jake, even though nobody asked for it, is Jake, doing charitable things does not make you a good person. If you constantly manipulate kids for money, then you are not a good person no matter how many backpacks you give out, no matter how many Make-A-Wish kids you visit. By the way, if you turned down Make-A-Wish, you'd be the worst person on earth. I don't know a single person in my life that wouldn't jump at the chance to visiting a kid for Make-A-Wish if they were asked. What an honor and shame on Jake Paul for using it as a thing to brag about and counter the shitty things he's done. That's scummy as shit! But still, Jake, I'm your number one fan. Look at me in my eyes again. I'm doing this bit one more time. Closer. Zoom in on my eyes. Jake, I will do anything for you. I will, if I get cancer, you can be my, I'm too old for Make-A-Wish, but I will, you will be my wish. Oh, and before we move on, uh, the, the song is awful. His auto-tune sounds like absolute shit. And there's all, that's all I have to say about that song. But what Jake does after is super shitty. Jake's next vlog, his next upload after this song is I'm releasing a third verse, not clickbait. And after scrolling through Jake's entire vlog, 
at the very end, at the last minute, he holds up a flash drive and says this. Also right now, it's like 10 o'clock, but basically like for the past couple of hours, I've been figuring out like what to do with this. So much deliberation. This is going to change the world. It's gonna change the, the internet uh, for the next couple of weeks, probably. It's not gonna change the world, you fucking moron. That's, I'm sorry, I'm too angry. It's too angry. Channel Jake Paul, channel Jake Paul. I'm a Jake Pauler. Jake Pauler, Jake Pauler, Jake Pauler. Thank you guys. You, what you're doing is so important. Jake Paul and other other white guy, you guys are doing God's work. Thank you. You're going to change the world with that third verse of a YouTube diss track. I'm taking the... Wow. You did it big. Taking the labeling off. On this hard drive, guys, is um, a lyric video and a music video to the third verse. And... Um, this is your last chance. Are you sure? I'm sure, Chance, bro. It's the right move. I'm sick and tired of, like, all of these people not knowing the truth about who I am. Are you sure? Guys, you are clearly acting. What is this weird blend of reality and fake shit in Jake's vlogs where it's like, they clearly had a conversation before and they were like, all right, kids watch this. Let's pretend like this is a huge deal. Other guy, uh, can you please say, are you sure you want to do this? And he's like, got it. Let's record but they're bad actors. So it's clear they had this conversation. Maybe not for kids, but the world is looking at you right now, Jakey boy, and everyone can see that's fake if they're over 10 years old. No one can blame you, dude. Everyone in this house knows, but I hate to get emotional. Uh, I'm gonna plug this in and start to upload the lyric video. So you guys can be ready to watch that in about an hour or so, maybe two hours. About an hour or so, or maybe two. And then a day went by, and his next vlog was titled, Listening to the Third Verse, not clickbait. I want the reverse of that, where every other video Jake uploads is, I got killed, clickbait. Cause you have to tell us now if it's, if it is or it's not. You, a little section of it right now. Huh? Three, two, one. Yeah! Jake gets to the beginning of the vlog, says he's gonna play it and oh, cliffhanger. When's he gonna get to it? In a minute? Probably? No. At the end of the vlog. How fucking scummy is that? Jesus, Jake. Do you have no morals at all? These are kids that want to watch your content. And you're fucking forcing them to watch all of it just for this one little bit of, of your stupid diss track shit? So let's skip past all of his shitty vlog and let's go to where he listens to the third verse of his diss track. There is such a thing as the third verse, and I'm gonna play you a section of it so that you can hear it and know that there is a third verse. But the reason I didn't release it is because essentially it's way too savage. Like it's next level savagery. Like the internet would, ha would never have seen this type of, uh, how do I say, uh, 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 explosion. <laughs> yeah. We would have had to contact YouTube for this type of song. They would have had to up their server space for this type of thing. Let me tell you, Jake Paulers, I got my yellers on. Think I'm gonna lie to you with my yellers on? This is next level stuff, people, and it's too savage. I don't think I'm ever gonna release it. God damn, he's so cringy. Can you imagine, guys, if I was like, hey, y'all, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we're gonna talk about Jake Paul and what you're about to watch. Get ready for this savagery. YouTube can't handle that. They're, they're gonna have to change the algorithm because, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm a savage. Can you imagine how fucking unbearable I would be if I was like that? And god damn it, please make me part of Team 10, Jake. It's my dream to be like that. I want the yellers, whatever the fuck you call your dumb sunglasses. They look really bad. I want all of it. I want the loose t-shirts that are too long. I want the short ripped shorts. I want to be a part of it, Jake. Bring me in. Embrace me. I want to be part of Team 10. I want to be part of Team 11. See what I did? That's the kind of brain you need. That's kind of the kind of brains you want. So he promised his fans he would upload it in an hour or two, waited 24 hours, said he's maybe not going to do it, and now he's going to let them listen to a little bit. So a kid is probably not even angry at him. They're like, oh, Jake's an adult. He can make those decisions. It's probably so savage. It's probably so savage that Jake knows what he's doing. So let's hear that little bit. I'm so excited. 
Shit! I'm gonna play you a little section of it right now. I'll play you like the beginning part of the beat, and then I'm just gonna play like a section in the middle. Look at it. But before I do that, guys, I wanna remind you about the merchandise sale that is going on right now. 10% off back to school sale. Use the promo code SCHOOL. Are you, god damn it, are you kidding me? A merch sale before it? You made them wait an entire vlog to just listen to the diss track. And morally, to your fans who are kids, you plugged your fucking merch before you played the diss track? Jesus Christ, man. This guy is insane. He really, he genuinely is a bad person. This is him. This is who he is. It's not the guy doing charitable shit. It's the guy who baits his fans into watching three different videos. And finally, the YouTube disses that they've been looking for after going through, what, almost an hour of content? He plugs his merch. So if Jake plugged his merch right before, he's got to show us a good amount of this diss track. We've been waiting. As Jake Pollers, Jake, we deserve it. Daddy, Daddy Jake, we deserve to hear that diss track. So let's hear that good portion. Let's hear you diss some of these YouTubers that have been hating. Let me play you. Okay, uh, here it is. Ready? That's just the start. Uh, that well, that's not even the start. That's just like at the beginning of the song. That's just the start. Well, that's not the start. That's just the beginning. Fucking Jake, you. The start and the beginning are the same thing. How are you that dumb, but also do this crazy manipulation shit? That can't be by accident. Does he have a manager that tells him to do this shit? He seems so stupid. That was all he played. Was just that little part of that shitty verse. And there was no dissing in it. There was no savagery in it. Like I was promised, Jake. There was no savage. There was no savagery. Buy some merch. Buy some merch. Be a savage. How am I going to be a savage, Jake, if you aren't one? You're not dissing anybody. Come on, dude. Uh, hey, uh, Eddie, it's Gus again. Um, listen, I think I left my blue hoodie at your house. You mind if I swing by later and pick that up? Yeah, uh, yeah sure. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thanks, man. Catch you later. Yep, see you. Love you. He hung up on me. He hung up on I said I love you. Hey, 